the thickness is there. Like I just, mm, I can just touch this all day. Hello my friends, Jetronis here, and I know it's been a while, but we have a new item from Fashion File. Now before I do show you guys what I finally got, I do want to quickly say Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Almost New Year's. I really can't believe 2021 is almost over. Like this year went by super fast. It's it's insane. But yeah, please be safe out there this holiday. COVID is on the rise. So wear your mask, wash your hands, get your booster shots because I need you to be very safe and healthy. But with that being said, let's see what I got from Fashion File. Now let's rewind just a little bit. So at the beginning of this year, I did do a video of my wish list for 2021. And in that video, there is one particular item that I regret not buying because what ended up happening was someone bought it before me and and it was gone. I was devastated. I was heartbroken. And I told myself, if I ever see this item again, I have to buy it. So that is exactly what I did. So if you have been watching my fashion file unboxing, you guys know it does come with a gray dust bag. And obviously this time it is not a handbag. This is my very first SLG from fashion file. Now what's awesome about this item here is that the original owner did include the box that comes with it. And you guys, it is the original Louis Vuitton box. Ah! So based from all my collection, I've only owned two of the older packaging box. So this is going to be my third. But I have to say, this box here, way better than the newer ones. I don't know. I feel like the quality is just a little bit better. Like, can you hear it? But yeah, as a reference, here is the newer one and here is the older one. Now opening the box up, you do get the original dust bag from Louis Vuitton, which is great. Are you guys ready to see what I got? Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you. So here it is. This is the Louis Vuitton clay from the Grooms collection. And uh, oh my God, it took forever ever just to hunt this down and finally get the condition that I wanted. Uh, so yeah, so where do I even begin with this item? Now before I do show you guys the details and all that good stuff, let's quickly brief about the history of this collection. So this collection came out back in 2006, which is crazy because it was literally 15 years ago. And 15 years ago, I was 15 years old. <sighs> Yeah, I'm pretty old now. Anyways, so Louis Vuitton came out with this illustration animation of this bellhop or bellboy wearing a gray uniform, carrying a luggage, and each item has like this white stripe with this other color. Mine, of course, comes in the yellow. And I know they only placed this illustration just on small SLGs. They did have it on the agenda book, the clay, the coin purse, the compact zip wallet, and even some of like the keychains or like a like a back charm so that is nice and yeah that was pretty much that all I could find about this collection now if I had to guess I do think this animation probably came out during the winter time or like near the holidays but I could be wrong so going back to the clay so this item here does retail for $200 USD back in 2006 now when I first bought my clay back in 2015 I did pay $200 as well so that to me tells me that the pricing of clays doesn't really really go up that much. Now if you're wondering how much I pay for this on Fashion File, I don't even want to tell you. Just to give you an idea, this here is the most expensive SLG I have ever purchased literally so pretty much it is the cost of buying two new clays for the price of one maybe maybe a little more because it is limited edition it's hard to find it is pretty rare and for the condition that i got it i got it in the excellent condition i can kind of see why they marked it at that price point in the end i just had to bit the bullet and just buy it now the clay is one of louis vuitton most popular slgs so i'm not really going to talk much about it but if you're not familiar pretty much you can put your cards your cash your keys coins little knickknacks I mean you can use this as a bag charm like it's just an endless multi functional item that so many people love and that's why it's their popular item the main reason why I wanted this one in particular again it's because of the animation I just think it is so adorable and very cute now usually when Louis Vuitton comes out with their animation every year I don't know some of them don't look that cute you know they're they 
they look okay, but for me, my heart was always on this dude. I don't know why. I just think it kind of reminds me of like the Monopoly dude or like the Tintins. Yeah, and also the fact that he's wearing something vintage and he's carrying a luggage. I'm, I'm loving the vibes. I'm loving the vibes. So I do love it. Now the second and probably the last reason why I wanted this clay specifically is because of the canvas. You guys know I always talk about this or mention it. Older Louis Vuitton canvas, way better. This canvas, oh, so thick. Like, can you see it? It's just, hmm and it feels so much better than the newer ones for sure and that's why i say if you do want to buy vintage louis vuitton go for it because the canvas out of this world now with some pros there are always some cons and the only con i can think of on this clay is the high maintenance of this animation i've seen a lot on ebay on fashion file of this clay and let me tell you a lot of them look like trash because what ended up happening is the animation starts to peel it starts to chip off it gets dirty, it gets scratches, it looks atrocious. And it's really sad because this to me is like an artwork. I already know if I do want to use this clay, I have to be really mindful of where I'm placing it, where I'm carrying it. So kind of have to be extra cautious because I do want to preserve the animation, I know crazy it's been about five months since i bought this item i have not used it it literally has been sitting on my shelf i know like why i didn't know when it was the perfect timing to record this video and i think this is the perfect timing with that being said i'm finally going to cut the little tag from fashion file and ah, it's been five months of sitting on my shelf and now it's mine. So yeah, I am a proud owner of three clays now. I do have the Monogram, Dami Ebean, and Dami Graphite. I unfortunately don't have the Dami Azor. I don't think I would ever purchase that one just because... I don't know, I feel like it would get dirty. <laughs> so yeah, in my little world, I'm gonna say I do own the Trifecta, even though it's not really the Azor. <laughs> so there you have you guys, my newly owned clay from the Grooms collection. I'm so happy, very grateful. I was able to get one in a great condition with the original dust bag and box. And yeah, I feel like this really completes my entire Louis Vuitton collection for sure. Just because it's so hard to find and I just knew one day I would get it and finally i finally got it now with that being said though i can kind of see myself selling this item in the future i know i know you might be thinking like why you you've been waiting for so long to get this why would you sell it and to be honest i don't know how many times i will be using this item just because i'm so scared to ruin it but since i just cut the little tag obviously i am going to use it to some sort of degree and just really enjoy it to the full capacity who knows maybe i won't sell it maybe i will only time will tell anyways if you're new here please consider subscribing to my channel get this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run and of course i will talk to you guys soon in the next have a great one bye